Okay, girl, it's me, Lamia. Welcome to my diary. Let's get into the shit because this is like the third time I've started this video and I'm over it. This video is going to be me talking about how I quit the first day on the job twice. But before you judge me, okay, listen, your girl has a job. I'm making money, honey. I just needed a second job to make a little bit of extra money, but I decided to choose peace instead, okay? I decided to choose me. I chose me, and I got the fuck up out of here, okay? Because there's a strange thing that I do where I freak out, and I start to, like, get, like, anxious, thinking that, like, I'm poor and I need to work more or something or whatever. This, this is just me ranting. This is me ranting. So I was like, okay, let me get a second job, even though I know, I, I really knew I needed to sit my ass down and take a breather. But I got a second job, went through the application process, went through the interview process. Um, I did all that shit. But when it came, excuse me, I got a burp. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But on the first day, I was like, I got dressed, I got up, got ready, drove. I hate driving. That's enough. That's gonna be another story for another day. My hands falling from my hair. But I hate driving, and I dro I drove. I got there and I parked and I sat for a little bit, like for a good two minutes, for a good two minutes, just constant. And I just sat there contemplating, just thinking, motivating myself to get the fuck out the car and go in the building. That was red flag number one, because I was slowly losing motivation as I, with every step, with every step towards that building, I was losing motivation. But I made it in, talked to one of the managers. You know, they handed me my apron, my um, hat, my um, name tag. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, this cute little white lady, she gave me a little And then she was like, obviously, they took me to like the orientation like place or whatever. It was like, they sat me in like a blocked off part of the shop. Um, uh, I said, girl, let me figure out what the hell I'm trying to say again. Because it's a lot. It's a lot of details. I'm trying to keep up with it. And I keep saying, uh, and that shit is getting annoying. Girl, what happened next? Let me think. Oh, yeah. Um, I sat at this computer. This old, old baby. Not even just old. I mean, ancient. Like, this computer had a retirement plan. I'm not kidding. This computer was old as shit and it was like you know you could, at one point it was white like white baby girl was sitting at a tannish yellow it was giving really sketchy but i sat at this old ass computer watching these videos these 2001 ass videos baby they update fuck a update they said we sticking with the same shit so I was watching these videos. These really the videos was watching me because I wasn't paying attention for nothing. I was just because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. baby, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to flip a fucking patty. It didn't like it really doesn't. I hate orientation videos. I hate the orientation process because it's like okay, just put me on the floor. I want to get busy. I just want to do this, but girl. Here I was sitting, and here, wait, here's the thing about this computer, where it was, girl, this was, there was this big ass window, clear, crystal clear window near the drive through so all these people was watching me, watching these videos, so it was like dinner and a movie, they was just watching me, and some, like, that started to irritate me a little bit, because it's like people watching me, and it's like, I don't want people watching me do this shit. Like the book. And then here's the kicker. Here's what took it home. I heard a child start screaming to the top of their lungs. And it's something 
it's something about hold on let me check my, i don't have my glasses on so i need to check my lipstick but it's something about a child screaming to the top of their lungs for no reason that really kind of pisses me off and irritates me just a smidge hold on it like low-key irritates me just as mentioned because it's like why are you screaming at the top of your lungs And I was tired. I was really exhausted, but I was really trying to like motivate myself, but I was really approaching burnout. And I was like, there was like a moment where I thought to myself and I was just thinking, and I said to myself, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get my ass up and I'm gonna leave. And that's what I did. It took me a minute because I walked like back and forth and back and forth from the computer like three times before I made the decision. So like I approached this lady, I approached the manager and I was like verbatim. I said, I'm so sorry for wasting your time, but I don't think I can do this. And I was, she said, okay. And I, I took off everything they, that they gave me and I was like thank you and I took my ass home I think I was probably there for 30 minutes but it felt like an eternity I felt time was not moving at all I was over it I went home and I went to bed because I was going to lose my shit that day. I felt it because on the way there, I almost got hit. Almost lost my fucking life. Because motherfuckers don't know how to drive in Texas. Like, people really don't know how to drive and it's really sad. Second time I did this, first of all, it was like at this pizza place. I'm not going to say which one. It was at this pizza place again went and here's here's the thing because i really wasted people's time on this one girl i had to go in had to fill out all this stuff this again old computer old choppy ass computer old self of selling for parts ass computer this computer was on its last leg you understand me it looked like it ran off of low power batteries it was sad looking and it was a little sticky too which was a little nasty okay. we had to get this computer to go this way one way would it work it would work it was a problem but we eventually got through this whole process and girl on the day for me to go i got up got dressed and what I, I I really should not have did this, but I sat down and I just started thinking, is this for me? Is this really what I want to do right now? Is this healthy? Because it's always on the verge of me burning out and I can feel when I'm burning out, when I'm about to like lose my mind or pop off. Because if it's a second job, somebody say some slick, slick shit to me, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm running my mouth. I'm running my mouth and then I'm gonna lose my job anyway. So it's just like, I was irritated. I was tired. I was actually very exhausted. So I sat on the edge of the bed and I was just, do I really feel like doing this? Do I really feel like going in there right now? Is, do I really feel like doing that? And I said to myself, no. And you know what I did once more? I rolled my ass over, took my ass on back to bed, and I got the rest that I needed. The moral of this story is, um, girl, fuck that job. And I choose peace, and I choose happiness. If a bitch can't get therapy, the least I'm gonna do is sleep. I'm asleep and I'm gonna get my rest because that's what it really is. Oh, baby, really, it's 
But, girl, if you paying your bills, if you doing what you need to do, and you got a second job, and you pushing through power, power, more power to you, queen, more power to you, king. But me, one thing about me, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Yes, sir. This is, it's a very short it's a, this, this is a short video this week guys yeah girl fuck that job good night